Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I'm doing a tutorial on Element 3D and Texture and After Effects. Uh, we did it right on the Discord in this one. If you're not on the Discord, I recommend joining it so I've got a few announcements and stuff. Okay, so firstly what you want to do is go camera... Uh, sorry, you want to get your composition out. Don't do time remapping because it doesn't allow that. Um, so just cut up your composition. Then you want to press track camera. I've already tracked it, and here, see, I've already pressed it here. Now, um, what you want to do is press, I'm trying to make this relatively quick tutorial, uh, you, you want to press solid, and position it, I, I usually do it around there, yep. Okay, so, just make sure that it goes through where you want, I want it in between the two buildings. Yep, that goes perfectly. Ooh, okay. Now, what you want to do is click the little um, thing here, and, and that just turns it so you can't really see it. So then you want to go new, right click new, solid, just anything. Yep. Now, uh, my render, my settings may look a bit weird to you, so this is the composition. Don't worry about this. Do whatever you like with this. Um. Yeah, I recorded these these sort of max myself, so like, and my monitors kind of like really a bit different, so it's a bit, a bit different. So you need Element 3D for this. Just download it. I, I really care where you get from. Uh, just go up to Effect, Video Copilot, and Element. Uh, go Custom Layers, Text. Oh, we need to add text. That's probably a good idea. Um. Uh, let's do, oh no, cool presents, you probably won't choose a cool font, so, yep, cool is now a new clan named Livid, don't really like that because I have to change a few things, change myself to Livid Malian and stuff, so what's a cool font, um, I downloaded some custom fonts, so that's why. I like Chinese rocks as a font, but like, it doesn't really work for the vibe that we're going for. Maybe... Oh my god, I'm spending so much time on fonts, Jesus. God, she's a cool font though. Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, then you want to turn that off. Medium solid, you want to path it to cool. texture maps. Then you want to go and press whatever your video is. Then go up. Then scene setup. Extrude. So yeah, cool, cool presents. That's pretty good. Now, what do I want to do next? Now, I want to make it reflective, which would look pretty dope in my opinion. Uh, mirror surface. Now, you kind of have to play around with it. I like to just give it a bit of a. Yeah, I'm pretty new to the reflective, but there's zero tutorials online about how to do this. I literally just like reflect it like that, yeah, and it looks it looks pretty neat. Uh, then you want to go bevel. Uh, you can extrude it, which makes it like expand more. I personally think so, it looks pretty good. Might need be a bit fatter and thicker. Then you want to go down diffuse. Mm, okay, a light aqua color will do it. Yeah, that looks sick. Uh, reflectivity 100. Make that blue. We'll make it around that soft blue. And you can do it for all of them. I, I usually just do it for a reflection and illumination. Don't turn that up too much, otherwise, it makes it too bad. Uh, yeah, see? That looks pretty nice. I don't mind that. Okay. Next, what we want to do is go render settings and beat it. I'm not even going to attempt to say that. Uh, just enable it. Turn up to max. You probably won't see anything yet. I prefer high because otherwise it breaks your PC. Make sure to save your composition. The amount of times I've forgotten to save stuff, it's annoying. Uh, matte shadow. It's like, I don't know, I just do that. Then lighting. I like to use clean blue. I uh, no, just looks really sick. Uh, I think 150 does well. You may not see any changes yet, but like, there will be. 
selection, that doesn't really matter. So, here's where the magic happens. So all you want to do is go Particle Replicator, P, and you want Control C, Paste, Control C, Paste, Control C, Paste. How are you tracking on time? Five minutes, it's not that bad. Racing through a bit, but that's all good. Um, then on the particle look, let's see particle size. I think that looks big enough, I reckon. Can you? Oopsie. Control Z. You want to be able to see it from far. Yeah, yeah, that looks sick. Okay, right. Need to press on that again. Now, what we want to do next is go into rotation. Wait, no, not rotation. What am I doing? Multi object. Enable multi object. Now you want you want to be a bit cheeky here. Uh, I like to do it when it first starts. I get it like that. You want to go to the bottom one. This place. Okay, that looks good enough for me. Ooh, that looks clean. I like that. Go to the end and switch it to 32. Uh, no, let's turn it off a bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty sick to be honest. Like, I think we've got a bit of. You can see the reflection in it. I might actually. So there's not um the little scatter. You see, like how there's a little bit of anti-analyzing on that. You might want to go into render settings and switch it to ultra. There we go. That looks a, that looks a bit nicer. Then, that's about it. So, uh, let me go into a, a few more things. You can change it, I don't recommend it, but like, I recommend just getting your track sold perfect. But as you can see, it looks pretty clean. I like it. Um, rotation, yeah, you can just rotate it. I think, like, if it's uphill, like, if I put it up here, I might want to add a bit of rotation. Now remember, it isn't perfect, like, the 3D camera track. Like, really, just remember that. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting the glow. Okay, what we want to do, you don't have to do this, I think it looks cool. You see this big glow? I, I prefer luminance, but, like, illumination for this tutorial. Background glow, always navel, looks sick. Um, you just have to play around for the sake. The settings a bit. Yeah, I can't do this as good as other editors, obviously, because I'm a professional. Um, you might want to turn the radius up a bit. See how there's an outline there? I think that's sick. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, so I reckon that's about it for the tutorial. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember, join my Discord. If you want something edited by me, check my editing prices. Yeah, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.